So hello everyone, good day. So I am Chris and Jay again, no? your P instructor. So for today's uh, lesson, so I'm going to discuss to you about the uh, PE4, the introduction of this subject. And also I would like to discuss to you the sports that we are going to focus on. So uh, for today's discussion, we'll be focusing about the volleyball. The history, who invented on it, or who invented the volleyball. So we'll be discussing about that one. And just stay tuned and we'll listen to our discussion. So for now, I'm going to share to you the PowerPoint that I prepared and the other clips that I am going to present to you. So again, as what I have informed you a while ago that I am going to discuss to you the sports, which is the volleyball. So now, let's talk about volleyball. So for this um, semester, uh, we have our subject, the PAP made for the PE4, meaning of dances and sports. So last semester, we have uh, discussed no, about dances. So now, we'll be going to talk about the sports and we will be going to focus on volleyball. So again, I am Christian J. De Ganon, and I am your PE4 instructor. So what is volleyball? So volleyball class is a game played by two teams in which usually of six players on a side in which the players use their hands to bat a ball back and forth over a high net trying to make the ball touch the court within the opponent's playing area before it can be returned. So you, I know class that you are familiar already with these sports now because I believe that these sports is or currently a number two or number three sports that most popular here in the Philippines and I know that this volleyball usually we saw it or we observe it or we have watched it no most likely in a barangay league no in different um ce uh, celebration in our barangay in municipality or in a city no so I know that you already know some of the rules no and um, how volleyball played all about so Again, um, as what I have mentioned here, that volleyball we usually play it on in um, high ball and we spike it, we set it, we serve it, and there is a lot of rules you now to be discussed in the next um, lesson that we're going to do. So for now, in the next clip, in the next slide that I am going to show to you, you must observe on how to play volleyball no so i will be showing to you in the next clip the highlights of japan and italy during the volleyball nation league last year 2022 where i was there i observed and watched it live in the arenata coliseum or smart arenata coliseum in uh quezon city so just watch enjoy the highlights no so uh, maybe it is a three minutes clip, so just enjoy and please observe the video. Italy in blue receiving. Joey Kang says play. So by the way class um I've been here no sa kaning event no sa Quezon City so nakita ko ani naka-watch ko ani and I just want to share this to you that you are also um maybe sort of um makakita no sa unsang highlights ani at that time so uh, Japan versus Italy ni siya nga dula and I hope that you will enjoy the short clip or short highlights of this um uh, game. So the best you can is that first time pula po niya experience oh, oh, oh. na mag-watch na sa most specially sa kong, uh, ultimate or favorite na team which is Team Japan. So I hope that you will enjoy watching. He's the main hitter in the first week of the VNL in Brasilia. Seven aces. Absolutely outstanding against Argentina in that win. Here comes Nishida. And he's landed it inside. What a beautiful, beautiful spike. And the man who started this role really going. Closed out the first set. Japan lead Italy by one set to nothing. Oh, lovely 
a spin float. Janelli quick there. Oh, going so fast through, but Italy still in play. Free ball. And then the pipe, expertly done. Could have gone right, could have gone left. Instead, Lavia arrives. They come back at you, they're going to play their game. You don't win a European Championship for nothing. You don't get to Olympic finals for nothing. They know what it takes. They're going to have to dig deep, though, to get the job done, that's for sure. Give... No question who's boss and who's directing matters. Whoa. Fantastic recovery by Italy, but... Here comes Japan, take two. And he's done it again, Balasso. This time, third time lucky, Ishikawa. And the big dome erupts once more. But all the time, Japan were just knocking on the door with one big hit after another. Italy. Nishida on serve. Three aces in the first. Okay, let's proceed to the history of volleyball. So, volleyball has come a long way from the dusty old. YMCA Gymnasium of Holyoke, Massachusetts, USA. So where the visionary William G. Morgan invented the sport back in 1895. So it was uh, years ago, the volleyball was invented by William G. Morgan. No? So imagine 1895, that was, was, that was very... Um, uh, decade a long years ago no so um and still the volleyball is currently existed nowadays no so it was invented uh during i think before the world war no so imagine um still existed no wala siya nawala sa toang sa toang um daily or currently popular sports here in the philippines so um it was invented in Holyoke, Massachusetts, in USA. So it has seen that the start of two centuries and the dawn of a new millennium. Volleyball is now um, one of the big five international sports, and uh, FIVB, with its 220 20 affiliated national federation, is the largest international sporting federation in the world. So as what I have said, no, that even though the sport was invented during 1890s or 1895, the volleyball or the game or the sports still um, currently existed today. And it's very popular because it's stated here that the volleyball is one of the big five international sports that are, or that is very popular nowadays. So maybe the very popular is the football or the soccer. Next is the basketball and uh, the other sports. No? And in the five international sports nga popular volleyball is uh, is included and also um it is affiliated with uh 220 and i believe that it's increasing no so at least uh, i mean uh it added more no in uh in uh, kanang this year uh, 2023 i believe that 220 plus or more than that number no uh there are a lot of national federations around the world so here in the philippines we have the one federation no that is um uh considered or i mean licensed by the fibb which is uh the federation international volleyball no which is our uh, international federation no so ang local or the national federation that we have here in the philippines we call it pnbf so that is a philippine national volleyball Federation of the Philippines. So that is the um, recognized federation that usually um, uh, give the authority no, to, ha to conduct the or to create a national uh, team no, to compete in international no, event. No. So volleyball has witnessed and presented growth over the last two decades with the great success of world competitions such as the FIBB World Championship the FIVB World League, the FIVB World Grand Prix, the FIVB World Cup, and the FIVB Grand Championship or Champions Cup, as well as the Olympic Games. So the, the level of participation at all the levels internationally continues to grow exponentially. So 
if you are not familiar with this um event no in the world competition so this these are the world competitions where in um some of these are currently existed and what uh, others are being um uh erased no and um uh, ga changed uh, to other um co- uh title so for now um i believe that the national league or the uh vnl no the Ban- valuable national valuable nations league are um yearly no so um if you are fan of volleyball you are you know already what is vnl no so vnl is um currently one of the world competition that um currently um uh i think 16 com- uh, core teams that are uh, be are being uh, competed no in for for a title no uh, in in this um sports that we have uh, in volleyball so ang BNL class mo ni ang uh, always or daily na ginadula competing this uh, this core team no we have the USA Brazil Japan China um, Korea or the other country no nga wala na ako na mention so kani one uh, alang uh, yearly ni siya ginakompete ni siya and um gina held ni siya in different countries and last year lang we are lucky enough na um Philippines wa- is one of the or was one of the uh, countries na na held diri so i i was there i watched the BNL and i am lucky enough no na i in history or one of the uh, history sa volleyball sa Philippines kaya naaabot ang BNL sa to ano despite nga walay team na nag-join sa Philippines because we're not um, qualified to join that um, big event no because um, currently the Philippines rank no sa volleyball is very low unlike the other teams like the other country like USA so they are part of the top 10 no in, uh, in the ranking so that's why na um, the Philippines is not part of, or was not part of that event, no. So and also uh, we have the Olympic, no, including that Olympic Games is sa mga pinakadako na event, no, sa volleyball. And I believe that the other sports also we have that different international uh, event, no, stints, no, na gina uh, gina pahitabo po. So the beach volleyball phenomenon also continues to amaze. So the overwhelming spectator and television success of beach volleyball since its introduction to the Olympic Games at Atlanta 1996 and the stunning success of the FIBB World Tour, the World Championships, and the Continental Cup has opened up volleyball to ex, uh, to a completely new market. So it means class na dili lang volleyball na indoor so we have also the beach volley and that was um introduced during the olympic games at atlanta in 1996 so that the time class that um the the beach volley was introduced and being a part of the olympic and that the time also class na ang volleyball pod is uh, uh the beach volleyball pod class is being introduced to different countries and one of the country that uh naga adapt of beach volley class is the Philippines no so we have a lot of beach volleyball players uh here in the Philippines uh most popular nowadays is the Sipons we call it Sipons si Sorimbina and the po, uh Pons no si Pons. so they're the I think they're the rank one tan- tandem in the women's beach volleyball no here in the Philippines so I was also being a uh, beach volleyball player no before during my college days so we've trained a lot no and it's not easy to be to to train in the sand court class so and i hope that you will also experience that one in the uh, nearby future no so again uh it uh, the beach volleyball class we have the IV world tour the world championships and the continental cup so current food class we have the beach volleyball uh, invitational tour no invitational games no held also in different countries so aside from this uh fibb class we have also the continental tour no so we have the asian tour no we exclusive for only asians we have the japanese the chinese uh, teams the korean teams the pinoy teams no we also have the thailand from thailand from vietnam so they are 
uh, competing for one title no here in Asia. So we so we have also this continental um as uh, federation. We call it the ABC, the Asian Volleyball Confederation uh, uh Asian Volleyball Confederation no wherein all Asian countries are gathered for that one federation. Okay, so here we go. I will show to you the short clip history of volleyball no in the next video. So um please observe watch no. So maybe it's just a short clip class no. And after that short clip, I will just cut it no and then I will just give it or attach the link so that you can also um see it in your free time. And also maybe I will maybe class uh, na present na ako ni sa activity ninyo no and if you have already watched it so just skip it and just proceed to the next slide okay so here we go in this quick video we will look at the full history and evolution of volleyball from year 1895 to 2020 Looking at some of the most important events and changes that occurred each year within this timeline. So ensure to watch to the end of this video. William G. Morgan invented volleyball in 1895, initially calling the sport Mintonet. Within a few decades volleyball had spread internationally and become a college sport in the United States. Over time, the rules were refined. As you continue to watch, kindly support us by liking this video, also subscribe if you are new here so that you will not miss our coming videos. The evolution of volleyball all started in 1895. Okay, class, I believe that you have already watched the uh, previous, previous video and uh, the video was already mentioned all the short brief or background about the volleyball. So now in this slide, I would like to ask who invented the volleyball? Okay, so I believe that you have already known who is invented the volleyball. So here we go. Um, William G. Morgan is the founder of volleyball and he also invented the volleyball so who is william g morgan so morgan who was born in the state of new york has gone down in history as the inventor of the game of volleyball so to which the originally gave the name uh, Men mentonet oh, sorry so the young morgan carried out his undergraduate studies at the springfield college of the ymca or young men's christian association where he, meet, he met James Naismith, or Naismith, who in 1990, uh, 1891 had invented basketball. So, ang nag-advance sa basketball class is si James Naismith. And after graduating, Morgan spent his first year at the Auburn or Maine YMCA, after which, during the summer of 1895, he moved to the YMCA at Holyoke, Massachusetts, where he became director of the physical education in this role, he had the opportunity to establish, develop, and direct a vast program of exercises and sport classes for male adults. So, um, in a brief explanation, uh, William G. Morgan invented volleyball, which is that time we do not uh, talk it or call it volleyball. So, that time we call it mentonet. So, again... You must remember this terminologies class ha, and important names and important details because we have a quiz no after this video. I'll be giving a link for a quiz and you must answer it during our um period no atong klase. So William G. Morgan is the inventor of the volleyball and uh during that time in the earlier of volleyball history, we call it Mentonet no. So that time also class um he have his friend, or he has his friend named James Naismith. Uh, Naismith. Uh, this uh, he had invented also the basketball. So they are friends, no. And during that time, uh, William Morgan 
uh, what, you, what I mean is that William Morgan um, moved to the YMCA at Holyoke, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, where he became the director of the physical education department. And he has the opportunity na mag-establish no, and develop different program no, of exercises and sport. And here we go that the volleyball was developed by him. Okay, so the next slide is his leadership was enthusiastically accepted and his classes grow in numbers. So that time class, when he's uh, nag-a-class siya, so nag-grow po ang uh, numbers po sa iyang um, uh, students and, ter- and also iyang mga klase. So he came to realize that he needed a certain type of a competitive recreational game in order to vary his program. So that time, nangita siya o um, or nagusto siya maka-invento o recreational game. So what is this? No, So here we go. Sa next mga explanation, ay mag- ma-discover na to kung siya yung nabuhat. So dagan man siya mga students, kung kailangan niya mag-create recreational games wherein maka-participate, maka-participate, uh, maka-participate ang halos tanan. So that time class, basketball, a sport that was beginning to develop. So up, before atong yung recreational game na develop, na ang basketball. So it seems that to suit or to suit young people, but it was necessary to find a less violent and less intense alter- alternative for the older members. So that time class, basketball is, uh, we know uh, basketball is sort of a violent or more on intense um, uh, game, no, or sports, no, uh, over volleyball. So uh, basketball, dili niya gusto nga ang basketball is, I, I mean, ma, though basketball is existent, pero dili niya gusto nga ba, ba, uh, magamit la ang basketball, no, kay very intense maka siya and na siya mga older members. Dili niya gusto nga very violent ka, you know. So that time, he developed something new for a recreational game. So at that time, Morgan knew of no similar game to volleyball, which could guide him. He developed it from his own sports training methods and his practical experience in the YMCA gymnasium. So as what I have said, no, that uh, volleyball was invented by Morgan and that time, kay kikuha or gikapi niya sort of um, rules no sa basketball in terms of the bola on how to handle or how to play no so and also because of his um, methods or no knowledge of his sports training methods and his practical experiences in YMCA na invent niya ang volleyball so describing his first experiments he said in search of an appropriate game tennis occurred to me but this required rackets, balls, a net, and other equipment. So it was eliminated. But the idea of a, ta- of a net seemed a good one. So we raised it to a height of about 6 feet, 6 inches. So that is 1.98 uh, 98 meters from the ground just above the head of an average man. So we need a ball among those we tried was a basketball bladder. But this was too light and too slow. So we therefore tried the basketball itself, which was too big and too heavy. So that time class, um, uh, she consider or he considered to use the tennis, but that was being element uh, eliminated because uh, it was uh, or uh, we all know that tennis requires rackets, balls, and a net, but. Uh, tennis was being eliminated, pero gipush niya ang isa sa mga gamit sa tennis, which is the net. But that time, we raise, uh, he raised it more higher, meaning mas taas ang net sa um, volleyball. So, he raised it, no, 6 feet and 6 inches, no, um, gikan sa floor or sa ground. So, that is 1.98 meters, which is higher than as sa mga players, no. So, that time also he tried to use the different basketball no uh, i mean balls no but he considered to use the basketball nga bola but it was too big and too heavy that time so here we go the next slide also the continuation of this history so that time class in the end morgan asked the firm of ag spalding and rose 
to make a ball. So, which they did at their factory near Chicopi in Massachusetts. So, that time class, um, he he asked this company, which is the AG Spalding and Pros, to make a ball that is light lang, no? That can, um, that can use to play this, uh, uh, sports, the Mentonet, no? Para po sa uh, mga older people, maka-use sila ano yung uh, bola na really heavy and it uh, comfortable sila sa ilang pagdula. So the result was satisfactory. The ball was leather covered with a rubber inner tube. Its circumference was not less than 25 and not more than 27 inches. So remember this one, 25 and not more than 27 inches. So most up, uh, approximately 63.5 cm and 68.6 cm respectively. And its weight not less than 9 and not more than 12 ounces or ounces so most probably this is 252 grams and 336 grams respectively so that time class positive ang nahitabo so it was very satisfactory no nga sa request or sa uh, uh, request ni Morgan sa company kay nabuhat yung tong bola nga appropriate for that sports nga yang invent so Morgan asked two of his friend from Holyoke, no, which is or which are si Doc Frank, remember this, Doc Frank Food and John Lynch to draw up, no, based on his suggestions, the basic concept of the game together with the first 10 rules. So he contacted or he asked these two friends, no, one is si Doc Frank Food and si John Lynch, na magbuat sila at least uh, for the first 10 rules ani nga game. Because we all know, class, na we must create rules no at least a short rules no a basic rules for that for a certain event for the certain game no so that everything goes smoothly and ma mahuman siya nga event nga tarong siya and mahuman siya nga game or ma madula siya nga game nga tarong siya okay so here we go in early 1896 class a conference was organized at the YMCA College in Springfield, bringing together all the YMCA directors of the physical education, which part of this is Dr. Lothar O.C. Gulick, a director of the Professional Physical Education Training School, and also a, uh, executive director of the Department of Physical Education of the International Committee of YMCA. So he was being invited by Morgan to make a demonstration of his game. So in the new college stadium. So that time class, he invited a doc, um, Doctor Luther, no, just to observe and um, know, uh, know and learn or review the invented event of Morgan, which is the Mentonet, no. So in that time, Morgan took two teams, no, each made up five men. Some of his loyal pa, loyal fans. So, ang yung invite to most uh, ang yung invite sa game is kato yung mga loyal fans. Uh, mo, uh, five five. So five sa bigas sa court and five pod sa other court, no. And uh, Morgan took two teams, yes, and uh, five and five sa Springfield sa ilang field, no. Sa Springfield, yes, yeah, Springfield na sila field mo dito. So where the demonstration was made before the conference, delegates in the east gymnasium no so the captain of one of these teams was jj kuran so remember this one and one of the captains sa isa ka team is jj kuran and of the other team also is john lynch no so again ang isa ka captain sa other team is jj kuran and the other captain is john lynch so remember that one who were respectively mayor and chief of the fire brigade of whole you so again mayor and the chief of the fire brigade of all you so we'll not discuss about that one no? so just like here in the dnc class na natay mayor natay mga nation natay mga leaders so same for also kay jj kuran and john lish they are one of the leaders in the um in their school no okay next after or morgan explained that the new game was designed for gymnasia or exercise hall so um you know class this a mentonet was designed in in an indoor so as what he said no the design is sa gym judya no kay usually it is for an event no nga indoor so but could also be played in an open area so we have also the outdoor 
uh, volleyball. In an unlimited number of players could participate, the object of the game being to keep the ball in a movement over a high net from one side to the other. So, as what we have observed no, sa, play, sa, sa video kaganina na pa, pa, pa ano-ano ang bola, pa, pabalik sa court sa other, pa, pabalik na sa court sa other, as long as ang bola, dili siya matat sa floor. So, high, 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 high dyan ang bola. So, after seeing the demonstration class and hearing the explanation of Morgan, Professor Alfred T. Halstead called attention to the action or the act phase of the ball's flight and proposed that the name Mentonate or Mentonet must be replaced by the name, we call it Valley Ball. So, before class, Mentonet being replaced to Valley Ball. So, Valley Ball towards Panisha, ha? Okay, towards Panisha. So, si Kinsay nag-change or nag-suggest nga i-change ang name ng Mentonet. That is Professor, pro, sorry, Professor Alfred T. Holstead. So, siya ang nag- um uh, suggest na i-change ang mentonet to Bali Bali ball. So this name was accepted by Morgan and the and the conference, no? So it was being accepted and it was fairly changed, no, in the name of the Bali ball. So it is very interesting class to note that the same name has survived over the years with one slight alteration. So, in 1952, the Administrative Committee of the US BBA voted to spell the name with one word only. So, that time class, during 1952, the Administrative Committee sa US BBA, which is the United States Volleyball Association, was um, spelled only in in one uh, in one word lang. So, instead of two words na volleyball, he changed into volleyball. So, one word na siya. So, that was 1952. So that's part of the history of volleyball class. Okay. So next is here we go. Morgan explained the rules and work on them. So then gave a handwritten copy to the conference of YMCA directors of physical education as a guide for the use and development of the game. So a committee was appointed to study the rules and produce suggestions for the game's promotion and teaching. So That time class, uh, Morgan uh, created the rules, no, or uh, ex- uh, added more on on the rules, no, and he gave it the handwritten copy to the conference of the uh, YMCA directors, sa PE, as a guide for them to use in the in the development of the game. So, basically, that time class, um, the volleyball was being introduced as part of the recreational game, and it was being developed, no, sa YMCA or sa PE nga department sa YMCA. So, a committee was appointed to study the rules. So, there is a committee uh, that produced suggestion also for the game's promotion and teaching. So, it was just literally part of the um, promoting, you know, the game and ginatudlo just as school. So, a brief report in the new game and its rule was published in the July 1896 edition of the Physical Education and the rules were included in the 1897 edition of the first official handbook of the North American YMCA Athletic League. So that time class na published na jud ang first rule ani. So it was part of the P- Physical Education. I think this is a book no wherein the rules of the volleyball is included on that particular book. And also in 1987 edition of this book Uh, na nandiyan siya official, official handbook, no? which is a handbook of the North American YMCA Athletic League. No? So, I think this YMCA um, school class or, um, yeah, in this association or school institution, this is a, one of the famous institution in in the America, in the U.S. No? before. So, again, um, please remember this one that during the um, 1897 edition, The first official handbook of the North American YMCA uh, Amer- uh, MCA Athletic League part na dito ang volleyball nga rules. Okay? So, um, I hope that um, uh, in the pre- uh, brief um, explain, uh, brief nga history ni Morgan, no, sa pag niya, I hope that you have learned a lot of this particular area or history, no, kung kisa ang develop sa 
sports na volleyball, okay? So for the next slide class, we will be tackling about the worldwide worldwide growth of um volleyball, no? So unsa tong timeline, no, sa volleyball, no? So, uh, let us discuss um siguro let us let's call it the summary of the history, no, and development of the volleyball, no, until from the recent or sa karon current, no. So maybe dili man siya up to 2023 or 2000 earlier na that uh, sa 2023 uh, let's just uh, focusing on the most recent no nga ma share na ko diri sa tuang uh, sa tuang discussion okay sige so let's proceed okay class for this clip we will be discussing about the timeline and the progress of the development of volleyball so i hope that you will still listen no nga nabot mo diri part sa tuang discussion so just watch the next clip and please take note the important details and important history you no know, or timeline years and the specific name for this uh kung unsa tong mga importante nga details about sa volleyball okay so let's proceed okay class for so for this part um we will be tackling about the progress and the uh, as we have observed, no, the timeline of every year, no, kung unsa na develop ang volleyball. So, again, let's uh, let's start with the creation of volleyball. So, maybe makainun mo nga ba, balik lang. We will just um not discuss it like mas dugay, no. So we'll just um click it one by one so that you can also notice, no, kung unsa ang progress each year. So during August one nineteen eighty five plus this time, as what I have said, no, sa kung this was the time that William Morgan developed the physical education. So you know naman already na kung sa si William Morgan, asa siya nag-start, o asa niya nag-develop ang volleyball. No? And also, during this year also, um, August 1, 1895, uh, yes, as what I mentioned, that the first rules written down by William, William G. Morgan called it for a net that is high, the high which is uh, 1.98 meters and also the court and any numbers of players no? so a match was composed of nine innings with three serves for each each team so nine innings and each team have three serves no? so somewhat like uh look like um a certain tennis rule no before so more more to check tennis so and also class uh we have also uh, during the july 7 1896 the first game of volleyball was played at the international YMCA training school training school. So we call it now as Springfield College. So wala na MCA nga name training school la karon. So we call it now Springfield College. So that was July 7, 1896. First game of volleyball was being played. Okay, remember that class ha? And also gen during January 9, 1900, a specific ball was designed for the sport. So as what I have mentioned before nga, na siya request no sa uh, isa ka company, no? Uh, Spalding Company, no. A new ball was crafted for a specific use. Spalding Company invented the first official ball of volleyball, out of rubber bladder made from the same materials as a bicycle tire, tube, cheesecloth-like material that was placed over the bladder and a material layer that is composed of various sections sewn together. So, again, that year, that specific date, January one, nineteen hundred was uh or the volleyball ball was being invented okay also during august 1 1907 the volleyball at the playground of america convention so volleyball was presented at the playground of america convention as one of the most popular sports this was the first credit the the sport received and helped to further sport recognition so it was the time that the volleyball was being part of the most popular game in america wherein it was um uh, sh uh shared or presented in american convention okay here we go in august 1 1913 the growth of the game so giving the game away ymca workers took the game from holyoke uh, holyoke to the u.s missionary schools in asia so it was being introduced no in asian countries no and the game became very popular in east as was played in the oriental game so i believe that this was part of the history in the philippines also that the uh, Volleyball was being introduced in Asian countries. So that was in August 1, 19. Okay, next is August 3, 
1917, we're in valuable formations. No? So for, we have the formations. So uh, 4, 2, 6, 2, and 5, 1. So our three standard formations, which refers to the number of heaters and setters, respectively. So again, I'll be just sharing it to you sa face-to-face -to -face na klase, ang 4, 2, 6, 2, and 5, 1 nga formation. No? So we call it, um, usually these formations are being um, being modified yearly or you know, um, a years nga nag-progress ang volleyball. So, nag-progress po ang mga formations and strat strategies ano, sa pagdula sa volleyball. Okay? Sige. So, next is the August 1, 1920, which is the player specialization. So, positions field of the very valuable team. So, setters, liberos, middle blockers, or middle hitters, outside hitters, or left side hitters, and opposite hitters, or right side hitters are five positions filled in every valuable team. So each of these positions plays a specific key role in winning a valuable match. So please take note of this one, ha, because we will be, uh, this is also part of the sort of pieces that we are going to have during our class meeting. So again, we have different uh, positions, no, na ginafield sa mga players. Okay, that was August 1, 1920. Also, class, during the August 1, 1919, American Expeditionary, uh, Expedition, Expeditionary Forces. So, sorry. <laughs> it, it was quite a uh, long time ago, no? So, also, June 1, 1920, class, this is also part of the history, no? Volleyball na Santa Clara, uh, Santa Monica, California is where the first volleyball courts were put up on the beach and families played six versus six, no? And in 1930, the first two-man beach volleyball was invented. So, as an first na set up ang uh, beach volleyball, no? We're in six versus six, okay? In Santa Monica, California. So, please take note, Aniklasa, because this is very important details, no? Because magawas po sa exam, maybe. Okay. And also, class... Okay, I forgot. During June 2, 1916, the new techniques to the game. So, here we go. Okay, class, this is... Uh, so, as what I have informed you a while ago, no, na Philippines is one of the... Uh, is, is part of the history of sa volleyball, no? Kung how volleyball was evolved, or, uh, what will uh, what was the contribution of the Philippines, no? The Philippines, of the Pinoys, no, sa volleyball. So, the, the new techniques of the volleyball was being introduced or 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 what was uh was being introduced no sa Philippines no because um before pag youth class volleyball existed na jud sa Pilipinas and popular na jud siya so the new techniques that set and spike was first execu executed in the Philippines so the ball was set in high tra trajectory and the spike by a teammate so Again, sige lang, ma-discuss na ito ni siya face-to-face no? on sound pag-spike and sound pag- ay, sound pag-spike and sound pag-set. So, first, set and then spike. No? So, again, that was being introduced and invented sa mga Pinoy. So, di ba? Imagine we are um, part of the history sa volleyball and we know that uh, we love volleyball no, here in the Philippines because volleyball is one of the most famous and popular sports here in the Philippines. Okay? Sige. So that was June 2, 1916. Please take note because that is very important, class. Ha? And also, class, um, 1916 also, volleyball added to schools. no. So volleyball was added to school physical education and intramural programs. And it became a competitive fall sport for both men and women. So we all re we already know that volleyball is part of the different school events. No, uh, naga exist siya karon hundred karon. So that was started in or last August one nineteen sixteen. So please take note of that one also. So okay, here we go. January one nineteen twenty eight, the creation of the United States Volleyball Association. So this time, class, um, the first association that adopted the volleyball or created, I mean, the association that uh accompanied the the USA volleyball class is uh, or was being established uh on January uh, January two thousand uh, January one nineteen twenty eight. No? So, the USA Volleyball is to be acknowledged as the world leader of volleyball. So, um, that time class, uh, ang USA Volleyball pa ang 
acknowledge as the world leader. So, wala pa tong FIBB at that time. Okay? Sige. So, in August 1, 1931, also class, the rule differences between beach and indoor volleyball. So, that time class, na ay difference ang beach volleyball and the indoor volleyball. Wherein beach volleyball is fundamentally similar to indoor volleyball, actually. Pero a team scores points by grounding the ball on the opponent's, opponent's court or when the op opposing team commits a fault, consecutively contacts must be or must be made by different players. So, but there are major difference between beach and indoor volleyball. So nowadays, class, we all, we know some differences because uh, in beach volleyball, beach volleyball class, we know that 21 lang tama ng score, then um, I think three three sets lang, no? Wherein uh, indoor games is 25 tama ng points, then uh, pwede siya mahantun mabot sa deciding uh, sets, no? Pips, pip set or ika third set, no? So we're in the fifth set plus 15 points ng taman. So, sige lang, discuss na ito na sa rules, no? Okay. Sige. So, next is August 1, 1939, where invaluable referees was being introduced. So, that's the start of approval and recognition of the national valuable referees. So, that time, that the time also class na na-introduce na, na dyan ang mga national referees. So, they have the license and the uh, learnings on how to um, conduct the Volleyball and to rule the volleyball now. Okay, class. In the August 1, 1947, this is the time where in the FIB was founded. FIBB was founded. So, class, what is the meaning of FIBB? Let's take note of this one. The meaning of FIBB is the Federación Internacional de Volleyball. So, this is the meaning of FIBB. So, it was founded in Paris is the international governing body for the sport of indoor and beach and grass volleyball. So again, class, there are three types of volleyball that we have. We have the indoor volleyball, the beach volleyball, and the grass volleyball. So kinsama ng ilang founder, the Padresyon International de Volleyball. So de volleyball ang pagbasa na klasa. And it was founded in Paris, in France. Okay? Okay, sige. So next is during... Um, 1941, August 21, USBBA added a uh, college division for competition college teams. So this, this I think this was, I mean, uh, I think the, I think Karun is in CAA nata ni Karun class no? So for the first 10 years, college competition was sparse. The teams formed only through the efforts of interested students and instructors. So many teams dissolved when the interested individuals left the college and competitive teams were scattered with no collegiate governing bodies providing leadership in sports. So, um, it was being introduced sa USBBA, but when the time ng college students na mag-graduate or mawalan siya sa school, so, dahil tendency po class nga, ang sports food class is madiminish po. So, mawala po siya. Okay? Because maybe the college governing bodies kay uh, wala na po yung nag-support. No? So, somehow like that siya. Anyway, let's proceed to uh, November 3, 1949, where in the first World Championship was being held outdoors in Prague, no, in Czech Slovakia. Ah, sorry, Czech, uh, Czech Slovakia. So, so I'm sorry, no, I cannot pronounce it clearly, but this was the time that the FIB Men's World Championship, no, championship, no. Nga na introduced no November 3, 1949. So remember that one, it was for practical purposes a new European championship. So with all 10, te uh, 10 teams from coming from U Europe and started one of the great competitions and traditions in international sports. So imagine that the time was uh, the first world championship was being held no in Prague. Prague. So uh, here's the fact class that the world championship was being held after four years. So, after four years, that's your World Championship class na. So, remember that one. Where's the Olympic gap, no? Pero, nagal, naga behind siya two years, no, sa Olympic. So, for example, 2024 is the next Olympic. So, after two years, na na po'y World Championship. So, after two years, sa World Championship, na na po'y Olympic. Pero, four years, so, ang, ang interval sa every event nila. 
Okay, here we go. 1960, August 1, the valuable techniques was added. So, new valuable techniques were developed. Also, we have the off-speed hits, no? Instead of hard hit class, we have the off-speed hits. Open hand tips. So, open hands, like this one. Tagak lang siya. Form, uh, for, for um, passing, just, just like this one. Form, for arm. Block at the net. So, nag-block na siya sa net. Nanay-block niya ito po. Des defensive play. Itong diving, no? Nag-dive. Sige lang, ha? Ato nang makita, no? Kung saan ang diving, scrolling, become a big part also of the game. So, that the time also class nga. Pakita na to nga there is really or there was a big development ana nga time sa volleyball. Okay? So, here we go. The California Beach Volleyball Association was being formed and has long been recognized the authority on the beach volley rules. To develop a single set of rules for outdoor volleyball. So, um, California Beach Volleyball Association was being recognized as one of the um, authority no, nga mag-develop sa rules sa beach volleyball which will also be adopted po sa international rules. Okay? So, on October 10, 1964 class, volleyball is introduced to the Olympic Games. So, it was played in Tokyo. No? So, Na na jo aring time volleyball game sa uh, Olympics. So it was the time nga gi play siya sa Tokyo, Japan where women's volleyball event Japan took gold no. The USSR took silver and the Poland took the bronze no. In the men's volleyball event, the uh, Russia or the USSR naka gold sila the Czech Czechoslovakia Check Holopakia yeah, took silver, sorry, and the Japan took the bronze medal. So, so that time, palang imagine not to, ano ha, not to being, um, fave, uh, sana being biased of this discussion, but the most favorite team that I have jud, until nowadays, kay ang Japan jud class. So, Japan jud akong paborito nga team. So, imagine that time, no? Naka-podium finish, no? Ang me, ang women, naka-gold. Ang men, naka-silver. Ay, naka-bronze. Sorry. So, imagine what uh, uh, ang development, ang sports, ang volleyball sports na program sa Japan, no? Nowadays, still naga-exist, no? And, fact, any class na nga, ang Japan is one of the, part of the top 10 na uh, appeal sa rank, no? So, from time to time, we cannot uh, we really see no the progress no sa Japan either nagataas ang iyang ranking no kay nagataas mo ng development sa sa Japan no, in terms of volleyball and okay class next is the August 1 1975 where in the US National Volleyball uh women's team no was being a year round training regime in Pasadena Texas so th this is the time also nga na introduce put ang um, national team sa uh volleyball no sa uh US and naga ano siya naga training siya naga room around for training okay and also class in 1977 in August 1 we're in the US national men's team begins a year round training also so same as the women kani pud time ang men pud naga uh adto adto sa um Lailaing area or state sa US. So, August 1, 1980 class, volleyball skills. Oh, so, kaninga time, there are six official skills na dyan sa volleyball. And these are the serve, pass, set, attack, block, and dig. Our skills comprises a number of specific techniques that have been introduced over the years and, now, and are now considered standard, no? And it was a practice in high level of volleyball. So, kaninga time, introduced na jod ang six basic skills, which is a serve, remember this one, pass, set, attack, block, and dig. So, again, class, I'll be demonstrating this, this one, and you are going to demonstrate also or to have this activity for sa tong klase. And you will experience no, on how to serve, pass, set, attack, block, and dig no, sa to ang um, subject. Okay? So, Okay, here we go. During the July 21, 1983, we're in Association of Volleyball for Professionals. So it was formed as an official players association to negotiate with private tournament. No, so it was promoters 
uh, so it was promoted no so uh by beach volleyball tour where which takes place throughout the united states so this time class the abp was being um introduced to uh, different states in the united states nga mag um promote of beach volleyball okay In June 1, 1986 class, uh, beach volleyball was added to the Olympics and it was being officially part of the Olympics. So, duha lang jud, two versus two lang jud aning volleyball. So, when the FIBB began organizing worldwide professional tournaments and the laid groundwork for the Sports Olympic debut. So, before it's an introduced to world beach volleyball mga event nila, so, gi introduced just on our was on June 1, 1996, no? So, na introduce siya before itong mga uh, world event nila. So, it was introduced first in the Olympic. Okay. Okay, so, happy to do ito mama, no? So, August 1, 1998, the Libera player was introduced internationally as a uh, player specialized in defensive skills. So, again, dag nag evolve ang volleyball. So, uh, last August 1, 1998, um, na, na yung involvement ang um, na evolved na po that time and libero was added in the first six nga mga skilled player no so nay libero na add so which is specialized in defensive uh, skills no so last august 1 2000 class rule changed no allowing serve in which the ball touches the net also the service area was expanded and changes were made to lighten up calls and calls for carries and double touches so that time class before august 1 2000 pag mag serve ka pag maigo na sa sa net automatically um eh, scores kalaban so dili sa pwede dapat ma-touch ang bola sa net but during August 1 2000 class imagine volleyball was again develop uh, being evolved no so ang rule is na change so pwede na siya mag-serve nimo masangit sa net so it doesn't mean na error so pwede siya allow siya okay so in August 1 ay uh, August 1 again 2000 volleyball equipment Used now and days includes a volleyball net and suitable court surface are being um evolved also like na uh, introduce siya, no mas nas mas naging okay siya. so players may wear knee and elbow pads and other padding no and non slip shoes for indoor surface while beach volleyball is open volleyball is open played in nothing more than a pair of shorts and t-shirts different leagues have different regulations pertaining to court size net height and ball specification. So that this is the time class na August 1 2000 wherein modern volleyball was introduced no daga na siyag pwede na to suoton ni pads for the safety no and jerseys kailangan na siya og same shirts same color except for the libero and then shoes also are being introduced no like i mean um katong mga ginahatag or gi, gina um model na shoes no or gina what, what i mean is that gina gina promote ng shoes no nga unsa jud ang proper nga shoes for volleyball ano so 2000 and this present na jud sa class no nga mas na evolve ang volleyball mas daga na jud sa pwede na to siya magamit no sa volleyball okay so um currently um year goes by no after 2000 na napoy nagachange sa mga rules po no sa sa volleyball and recently lang ang pinaka na, na pinaka recent nga rule nga na change sa volleyball was that um Ang cup, ang cup, ang libero, pwede na siya mahimong captain ball. So, before mga good class, ang libero is dili siya pwede mahimong team captain. Kabantay mo class sa every team, no, even na volleyball, nanay nakabutang na uh, number, no, and linya dari sa jersey. So, it means that that player is the, the, the team captain, no. Pero karon ang libero, pwede na siya na team captain. Okay? Sige. So, that's all for the timeline, no, of the history, no of the volleyball. Siguro, maybe class na taas na to siya. Pero I hope that you have um idea, no? And uh, learned a lot, no? Sa timeline, history of the volleyball. Okay? Okay, class. I hope that you have learned a lot, no? About sa tong lesson for the sports, no? Which is the volleyball. The history of the volleyball and the progress and the development throughout the years, no? Sa kaninga sports. And I hope that you um uh, share this history you know, sa inyong mga friends or sa inyong mga um kauban no nga willing to learn no about this um sports. So 
um, I hope that uh, ginatake note niyo itong mga important details no sa history no sa volleyball and you've um, also take note the I mean the dates no and uh, katong on sa kadakang certain friends sa bola sa kabugat so I hope that you have also take note that one because after this after you've watched this um, video or the the pre-recorded video we will be going to have our assessment test no, during satuang classes so by that time you will going to answer the I think I cannot uh, share to you pila ka items but um, for most probably medyo dagan-dagan dito so I hope that you're going to uh, pass that first piece no and you're going to um uh, enjoy <laughs> may, may enjoy dapat po no? sa mga next activities na to about sa balimon so and that would be all for this um, lesson and for the next lesson we'll be talking about the different skills no of volleyball okay sige basta mag oral recitation taana okay So, thank you everyone for listening and watching this pre-recorded video. And I hope that you have learned a lot. And I wish that um, magamit nato siya throughout sa ato ang discussion, no? sa ato ang lesson for this semester. So, thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching.